The water cycle, also known as the hydrological cycle, is influenced by several key factors. Solar energy is the primary driver of the water cycle, providing the energy needed for evaporation. This process causes water from oceans, rivers, and lakes to turn into vapor and rise into the atmosphere. Temperature plays a significant role as it affects the rate of evaporation and condensation. Warmer temperatures increase evaporation rates, while cooler temperatures promote condensation and precipitation. Humidity, or the amount of moisture in the air, influences cloud formation and precipitation. High humidity levels can lead to more intense rainfall, while low humidity can reduce precipitation. Wind helps distribute moisture across different regions, carrying water vapor from oceans to land and affecting local climates and precipitation patterns. Topography, or the physical features of the landscape, also has an impact. Mountains can create rain shadows, where one side receives abundant rainfall while the other remains dry. Vegetation contributes to the water cycle through transpiration, where plants release water vapor into the atmosphere. It also affects soil moisture and local climate. Human activities, such as urbanization, deforestation, agriculture, and industrial processes can significantly impact the water cycle. Urban areas may increase runoff and reduce groundwater recharge, while deforestation can alter local climates and reduce transpiration. Ocean currents influence temperature and salinity, affecting evaporation rates and climate patterns globally. These factors interact in complex ways to regulate the water cycle, influencing weather patterns, climate, and the availability of freshwater resources. Antarctica is a continent covered by the largest ice sheet in the world, containing about 60% of the planet's freshwater. It is home to giant ice sheets that vary in thickness and area. The ice of Antarctica plays a crucial role in the global system as it reflects sunlight, helping to regulate the climate. Water in Antarctica is represented not only in the form of ice, but also in the form of subglacial lakes and bodies of water located beneath the ice. One of the most famous is Lake Vostok, which has been isolated from the outside world for millions of years. This lake contains unique microorganisms, making it a subject of scientific research. The melting of glaciers in Antarctica has become a focus of intensive study in recent decades. This melting is linked to global warming and can lead to rising sea levels, which will significantly impact coastal regions around the world. Research in this area helps predict future climate changes and their consequences. If glaciers melt, it will lead to several serious consequences. Rising sea levels will flood coastal cities and islands, which may force people to leave their homes. Change in the environment will affect marine life, as warmer waters can alter the usual conditions for fish and other animals. The climate will become more unstable, as less ice will reflect sunlight. This can cause heavy rains, droughts, and other extreme weather events. Rivers and water bodies will change their flow, impacting agriculture and access to fresh water. The frequency of floods and landslides may increase, especially in mountainous areas where glaciers are melting. Economic problems may arise due to losses in real estate and fishing, as well as potential conflicts over resources. Thus, the melting of glaciers affects both people's lives and nature, requiring attention and action from the entire world. The unknown depths of the ocean represent one of the most mysterious and unexplored parts of our planet. Oceans cover more than 70% of the Earth's surface, and only a small portion of their depths has been studied. At depths greater than 3 kilometers, conditions are difficult to imagine. Complete darkness, pressures thousands of times greater than atmosphere pressure, and temperatures close to freezing. In these depths live unique organisms, many of which have been discovered only recently. These include deep-sea fish, jellyfish, and even bacteria capable of surviving in extreme conditions. Some of them possess remarkable adaptations, such as bioluminescence, allowing them to glow in the dark. Additionally, the ocean depths hide many geological formations, including underwater volcanoes, hot springs, and massive canyons. These places may contain resources such as minerals and fossil fuels, making them interesting for scientific research and industry. Despite the fact that oceans remain largely unexplored, studying them can help us better understand climate change, ecosystems, and even the origins of life on Earth. Ocean research continues, and each expedition brings new discoveries.